Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm really pleased you could join me. So today we're going to be doing um, number six, I think it is, in our Take Free Envelopes series. But before I do that, I just want to um, give you a quick explanation of where I've been. So as many of you know, um, I lost a very close family member, my auntie Gracie, who I was very close to um, and who will always have a big place in my heart. So that um, was awful. And then um, I lost my mojo a little bit and then got ill again. Um, not just with my fibro but with other stuff and so I was sent for tests and I've had to have biopsies taken and everything. As you can imagine, we all know when you have a biopsy done, um, you're thinking that it's going to be the worst, aren't you? You're thinking, here we go, I'm going to be really ill. I'm not, I'm not, I've just got the results back today and I'm all clear, you know, so I thank God for that. Um, and... To those of you that have sent me messages and I haven't replied, it's not because I don't love you and care about you and appreciate your friendship, because I do. I, I do so much. Um, but I found it really hard, because I was still grieving. I was really, really anxious about my health. Um, I was this anxious <laughs> that for the last two and a half, three weeks, something like that, I've had a bag packed in my wardrobe with toiletries, pyjamas, a good book, um, <laughs> a journal, um, all in there, <laughs> me, um, what's it called, pencil case with me pens and pencils, all in there, so that when I went back to the hospital and spoke about my results, I would be able to ring my kids, because I was convinced they was going to keep me in and I had something terrible, and I'd be able to ring my kids and say to like my daughter, Mill, it's in the wardrobe, upstairs, already packed, you ain't got to worry, my undies, all, all my bits and bobs, they're all in there. Do you know what I mean? I didn't want it to be stressful for them. Um, so I didn't tell them it was there. But it, that was my safety little, right, I'm not in control of whether I'm ill or not ill. I'm not in control over my loss of my auntie and the grief that I'm feeling. It was my one little bit of control. Pack a bag so that I can make it easier for them if there's anything wrong with me, you know. Silly, I know, but that's the way I am. And like I said, I didn't even tell the kids because I didn't want them to worry and think it was as bad <laughs> That's what I was thinking it was. But it turns out I'm fine. So anyone that ain't replied or anything like that, um, I love you. But I couldn't put all of this into words typing without getting upset and then having to go over it again and again and again and so I just shut myself away which ain't the good thing to do it's the wrong thing to do but that's what I've done so I apologise with all my heart but I'm gonna ease myself back in and hopefully get back on track with my journals and everything else so like I said it's our take free envelope series and we're going to make like a little Trapper's Notebook kind of thing because this is my um, sort of Trapper's Notebook holder thing that I, I use year in, year out and this was one left from last year um, I didn't need, I had six little books in here so I've got two strings so that would normally mean two books but then on this writing board that I've got and I also use it to save me place if I need a certain page in the list when I'm going shopping or whatnot. I have an extra elastic and you can put it under there and have room for two more journals or you can have one on each thing and so you can have instead of one journal on there if I put this elastic underneath I can fit three, not journals, notebooks I can fit three there and so then I could have another three there if I wanted on another elastic which makes it old six which is what I did last year but um, I didn't need six I only used four so I gave one to my, one of my daughters 
um, because she was still doing her Christmas shopping and it's Andy, she wanted to do lists. So this is a bit over the top with stickers, so I let the kids, <laughs> uh, I let one of the kids loose with the stickers. So yeah, it's like that. But um, I'd finished all my Christmas shopping and I had all my lists done for everything that I need. So yeah, one of my daughters had one and then I had one spare. So this is what I normally do. But I thought, because I normally, the reason I put pockets and that in is for receipts and stuff like that. Well, I thought we could do one with free envelopes because they're perfect, lovely big pockets for receipts. Um, and then we've got all the pages and that for lists. So what I thought was normally... When I do this, I don't like, I don't do a spine as such, like I don't score to make a spine. But with this, I am gonna, on these envelopes, just a little bit, because, um, yeah, I just think it'll go better um, and it'll be a little bit stronger. So, what I'm thinking is we've already got that nice score line there and maybe coming in one so what's that a, um quarter of an inch no eighth of an inch yeah an eighth right i was getting confused then so right eighth of an inch let's hold that still um and yeah we'll just do the same on this one this score an eighth of an inch. I must invest in a big long scoreboard eventually. Because, <laughs> yeah, it almost lets on my nerves. But I haven't, I'll never get round to getting what I want to get. Right, and let me turn it around the other way. Just so I can have it nice, that's it, it's better having it like that moth um, to get me started. Right. And so, yeah, I hope everyone is well and that, and all fine. The reason I want to get this done now is because I've already started my Christmas shopping and that, and I have to have it written down and the lists of how much I've spent on each grandchild and each kid and whatnot and all them things, um, and starting to buy frozen stuff or stuff that goes in the cupboard. So, yeah, I have to have, I should have had this made already, to be honest. Right, I think I'm going to go, not an eighth, a quarter on this score, because this is going to be round the other side. And it will be coming over the, um, what's it called? Coming over the, the pages. So, right, we've got them scored now. And so, yeah, I, I, um, I've been scribbling down um, different bits or, or saving a note onto my phone and that. And I thought, why not just get yourself back on, on track a little bit and um, make your little um, insert. And they're not exact traveller's notebook size. I just do the size that I want for me, you know. So, it's just what works for you, really. Right, hang on. That's the larger one, ain't it? The larger score. Yeah, and these are the two smaller ones. So, as you can see, I've got coffee dyed them and that. If I would have found them last night, which is when I had the idea of doing this. I would have coffee dyed them probably, but I didn't, I couldn't find them last night, so that didn't happen. So these, I'm just going to put one inside the other and try and line up that score line. Yeah, like that. So that's going to be our actual spine. So then, right. Right, let's get that fold so that it's sitting in the exact right place. Right, yeah, like that. 
and then when I've peeled off the sticky I'm just going to press that like that now I've got it in place that's perfect and then do this one here right so that will be our little spine and that's going to go oh it's not really sticky but it doesn't matter it's going to be all covered up anyway um and then we've got a nice big pocket there we've not got it there that's stuck down but we've got this one over here that's going to be on like that and it's not going to come all the way over i think i'm going to fold it back on itself and then we'd have a long thin pocket or just cut some of it off yeah and then we've got that pocket there but it won't be we'll also have the pocket inside but we'll have to seal we'd either have to stick that down and come in that way or have it stuck down on the outer bit and come in from there I think that's probably the better idea so but I do want to cut a bit of this off and then I'll have to re-stick it down to um, so it's a pocket and you're not just poking something in one side and it's falling out the other so let's see mm -hmm. let's see I don't want it all wonky. Right. And for some reason that does look really wonky at that end. I don't know what's wrong with that end. But I'm lining it up. Right. And that looks a bit better. If that's enough that I've cut off because it's going to go like that and yeah I think I'm going to take a little bit more of so that we've got room there to do some sort of closure and then, like I said it don't need to be a massive pocket because we've got a really deep one already mm. Just need to hold it up so I can see what right. Let's go for it. And that once we stick it on, we've still got that nice pocket there and it'll come there like that and I'll have that be able to glue this bit shut. And we can just have a little something there to wrap it wrap around I think yeah right so let's lose that great like, massive wash it and crack on with our nice um, thing so I think because I've stuck that down there I could open up at the top Actually, these envelopes, yes, yeah, that's not really that sticky at all. What I could do, look, see, it's come straight off. So I'm going to glue that with proper glue. This bit, because I did want it reinforcing, so I'm just going to cut the sticky bit off there. Because I could have folded it in on itself. But then I've got um, a lot of fat, um, not a lot of bulk, not fat. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, oh, I do hope everyone's well. I have missed you and um, I've thought about you every day. I really have. Um, but I didn't want to burden people with my worries um i didn't wanna um i felt a bit i don't know um 
I'll, I'll go very into myself when I'm grieving at the best of times. Uh, that just happens. Um, I wish I didn't because it's not um, it's not good for you. But yeah, it's one of them things where it's easy to say to other people not to do that. You say to people, don't you? Oh, I'm here for you. Well, like you can always talk to me and that, and you mean it wholeheartedly to other people. And then when you're going through stuff yourself, and you shut yourself away a bit, and you can hear your own advice that you've given others in your head, thinking this isn't good for me, you know. But then, as much as I know that, it's still hard to. Follow my own advice and um, talk about my worries and whatnot and feelings, you know. I do struggle with that, even with the people I love. Um, Jamie says it to me. He says, like, you, um, you don't, like, you won't open up when you're, like, upset and things. I'm good enough at telling people how much I love them and that kind of emotions and that. Um, and I, because I think that's important to share, you know. But I think negative emotions, I struggle to share. Um, I don't know why, because it, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's that I don't want to burden other people or I don't know. I just find it difficult. Right, so we've got a little booklet now like that. With now we've got two nice size pockets. So this bit here, I can forget having to have that as a pocket because I don't need any more than them two. So I'm going to cut another little piece off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm telling you to do uh, it one way and then doing it a different way. But I um. Like I said, I don't normally do them like this, and this is the first time, I've, I mean, I know I've done other, uh, I just went to put something in and knocked everything out of him. I've done this kind of thing before with other journals, uh, other little booklets and envelopes and whatnot, but yeah, that's much better, and I can have a circle there and circle there, or just... <gasps> I know what I can have. We've got a lovely button here. And for some reason, I've been saving this for Christmas for ages. Because it reminds me of like how a gingerbread man is made for some reason. I don't know what. It just does. And that would be cool. I'd have to have something coming out of there and just going round. Because I was thinking of two discs. And going like that, but I've only got one of my gingerbread man buttons, unless I've used a different button on that side, a smaller one with the thread coming from down, and then a bigger one that might be good. Right, I'll put them to one side because uh, I think that's the biggest of a red one, they're the same, yeah. Yeah, I can't see any bigger. That one's not really as Christmas. Yeah, I don't know why that one, I've been saving for Christmas for ages and ages. Because, yeah, I just think it's really cool. I was, although I was going to save it for a journal, um, instead of, this is just my Christmas shopping list and food list and whatnot. So, yeah, I'll have to think about that. Right, so we link all around them, but just before we do that, another thing I do on my little booklets is I cut out at the top and the bottom, just so the elastic sits nice. Once it's in there, the elastic, like they're in that little dink out of the top and the bottom, and so they don't move at all, they don't slide about or nothing like that. So, I'll probably have to do that right now. Because we've got a link, and I don't want, I don't want it, um, a white bit when I need a thingy bit, when it should be inked, so, 
I'm just lining that up with the centre. Yeah, and now we've got our little dinks out. So that's that's that done. I'll just put that down there because I've got a lot of um, pages that I've got to do that to. And I'm just going to, in cool around, and get it nice all the way round. And so I'll be cracking on with this. And then I'll be right back. Right, so pretty much all linked. I'm just going to go along where the pocket is. Just get it a little bit coloured. It would have been better to have coffee dyed it. But, like I said, I couldn't find them. I couldn't find them anywhere. So, before I go cutting out anything, I've got to decide and I've got to make a decision of how we're going to have this closing. So, I do know that I'm having that stuck there, which is why I haven't inked that bit. So that's going to stick there. And then I've got to decide whether I need to get in there before I do it up. I think I am. I don't think I'm going to use my lovely gingerbread man button. Because I do want to at least make one Christmas journal this year. I know I'm well behind on everything. But, yeah. I do. Right, so yeah, before I glue that shut... This piece is gonna have the card stuck on it and then I've got to go through so I can put my disc and then glue that shut and then I won't have it coming out that side, it'll be in here. But, um, so I'll probably do that before I stick it on. But it doesn't matter either way, you can do it both ways. I do apologise for the big loud knock at the door. That was Amazon. And they knocked so loud now. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, I can still stick that on. Get that bit done. Do me all. Yeah, it'll be fine. So let's flip it over. And we'll stick this bit on. And, oh, I can undo that. I forgot that was even there. Um, right, ton too much glue, but I've been used to using these big ones for so long because um, they stopped having the small ones. So there was me using the big ones, got used to using them and the feel of them in my hand for ages. This is through Amazon, by the way. I always used to buy two little ones. And then the same price was buying the big one. And they didn't have the little ones anymore that I was used to. So I started buying the big ones. Same money and everything. Good as gold. But yeah, you get used to the feel of it in your hand, don't you? So yeah, I'm all used to it now. And now, stop doing them. The UK for some reason at the minute. And not only buy two small ones. So for like that same money, unless I want to pay a lot more, which I don't. Right, so that's going to go like that now. And we'll have a one little disc there and a little disc there. So the first piece I'm going to cover is this piece. And we are going to have pages, obviously, inside. But, yeah, we'll, I'll start doing the covering first. And then the pages afterwards so they might even come on a different day but yeah this will probably end up being in two parts so yeah this first bit though we'll start with covering that bit so I've got I looked through all my paper pads and I've only got this paper stack left of Christmas stuff but it's still got some cool papers in but what I did find was a load of scraps and that of papers so these will, are the perfect length this red this is also lovely as well but I don't know how much of him so I'd like him on the front 
but yeah it cuts off there I might just save that whole bit and have that for another insert I love that as well that is gorgeous so yeah this might end up being another insert that's not made of envelopes because like I said I do have a few inserts in there I love this red as well but I have got some other scraps right I've found the scraps and so I'm going to oh <laughs> now that was serendipity I didn't know that that was the first one and I've just said how much I love that so yeah that's perfect let's see because yeah I don't need a great big massive bit that's quite nice as well that fits and all I do love I love this as well that's a, nice, that's a bit short though that might have to be pockets somewhere what have we got? Mm. oh a little bit of that again and um, green right oh hang on I've got another bit is that yes that is different to that bit isn't it yeah that mm, could be inside somewhere or on a different one what's the length like yeah that's not bad for length look at that yep I kind of love it yeah I'm going to use this bit um because the bigger bits it is handy to save um for just making some more normal inserts because or on a Christmas journal because yeah like I said I ain't um I ain't got um much Christmas paper left and it's difficult for me to get at the minute because I've not really wanted to go out too much because of all this COVID malarkey. But I just, let's see, if I just make a little dink or a little mark with me, um, is, that, is, is that really wonky or is it my eyes? I'll line that up as the straight edge. And then, yeah, I'll just make a little mark. Oh, just, just to see where I've got to make my little mark. Let's say there for now. I can always take another bit off, but we can't stick it back on, can we? Right, let's try and line that up as a straight line. Right. And see that could just be an edge for something. I know it's only a little bit, but I do really like that paper. And so that will sit on there like that. That is lovely. I just need to ink around the edges. that will look lovely right. I think I'm going to use the other one I like that this for doing this but I'm going to get that nice and dark with I'll use the sponge I don't think with these I do need to buy some new sponge bits because I think I'm completely out now and um once they're that old, they start sort of shedding, don't they, as you're trying to ink. But, hopefully, it's not shedding too much everywhere. <laughs> right, so that is nice. We'll have that on there like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be lovely. So let's put something to lean on. And a glue stick. And so, yeah, I am. Um, 
I feel like such a weight has been lifted off my shoulders now that I know I'm not ill <laughs> in that sense. I, I mean, my fibro's been up and down, up and down, but I think, as we all know, your emotions play a big part in that. Um, but yeah, now that I know I've not got anything um, terrible that I was fretting over, it is like a huge weight has been lifted. It really is. Um, but yeah, um, the you know what we do now in this day and age? If we've got something, we Google what the symptoms are. And nine times out of ten, it tells you the first few things that pop up are the most terrible things there could be. Right? There ain't no option of it saying, well, it could just be a fluke, nothing that has caused this to happen, you know. There's not. That never came up, not once. Every option it had for what was happening to me was awful options. And so, yeah, it, it worried me stupid. Um, and I mean, it could have been very serious. As soon as I spoke to my GP, straight away they said, right, well, you've got to um, be sent to the hospital for tests and that, you know. Um, which, yeah, that's a little bit scary as well because they acted so quickly and it makes you think, why are they rushing? Am I really badly ill? You know, and so yeah, that you do that, don't you? But yeah, luckily I was not, and I'm not sure whether to leave this open or not. Like leave it open there, or maybe glue that bit and just leave it open there if I want to tuck something. Yeah, I do. I've just thought of something. What I want to do, so I am going to leave it open there, but I'm going to glue that side, but not yet. Right, so we want old punch. Right, I think this might look nice. This um, thingy, deep red. Oh, like that. Yeah, I think that will be lovely. Yeah, I definitely want that. Um, and I'll punch out another one. Just to sit behind it. I've got plenty of ink still on there to do that. Right. And so, yeah, I um, I have still got the stuff that I was working on because I haven't done anything. I've not. It's not just that oh, I've been working and not turning the cameras on. Last um, time. We was working on this journal, wasn't we? And there we are, we still am. Um, that's the last thing I did, the pocket, with you guys. Um, so, yeah, uh, I've not done a thing, which is very silly, because it makes me feel better when, I, when I'm working. And it makes me feel double better when I'm working and talking to you guys and we're interacting and yeah and that we're talking and messaging and this and that you know um yeah that makes me feel lovely but I just uh, you know how it is you just shut yourself off don't you and it don't do anyone any good I don't think but that's life, isn't it? Right, what I want to do, I want to put a little bit of something in between and then I could tie on the thread as well. So I'll just grab my um, eyelids. Right, so I've grabbed my eyelids and I'm just gonna make one a dud one. Let's squish it. And then I can get that can go in between of these so there's a little bit of room to wrap the thread to go under but i'm going to tie it onto that one actually so and then that'll sit like that on there so 
we need what bread we want and I thought some of this it's not too thick and it'll do the job perfectly so we don't need a white lot just snip off a little little bit and put that back on there so it don't all come undone oh something's moving <laughs> and right I'll just put this on here and hang on I'm not sure whether to do it so it's double no I'll just put it through and pull it like to make a knot and then oops I'm sorry if you can hear background noise um, neighbours have moved in their kids are really loud <laughs> really loud <laughs> the people that live opposite me um, yeah and they're always playing out at all times of the day and night <laughs> and I've never heard so much noise in my life <laughs> but yeah it's because this street's really quiet compared to where we used to live right I've got that tied on and I'm going to cut it but what I'm also going to do I'm just I'm going to cut it there so I've left a little tiny towel and I'm going to put some glue on it and I know I'm going to get myself all dunked up so I'll try and avoid that a little bit but I need to smush um, oh. I was just doing that up. Right, I do need to smush because, yeah, I want the glue just to make sure that that ain't coming undone. So it's knotted, it, well, it's looped through, then it's knotted, and then it's glued. So I'm sure that will be as safe as ours is now, wouldn't it? So let's put that on now. The back bit on. Oh. Yeah, and I apologise in advance because I can't exactly hear what they're saying. I'm a little bit deaf though. <laughs> but I do know that when I do go out there sometimes, like putting the rubbish out and things like that, they are swearers. So if you hear that in the background, it's not me and mine <laughs> swearing. <laughs> It's somebody else's kids. But yeah, for children, they don't know a lot of words. <laughs> they really do. Right. Mm. Right, I've got that nice, nice and pushed down. We've got our thing nice and ready for our other circle. Just a little bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right, and then I want a bit of washi, and I'm gonna let me just make it so the ends are neat and not not all messy. And once I've got it cut off. I can run it over the glue. I won't do it on my envelopes though. Feels like forever since I've done anything. I've literally forgotten where I've put things away and that really, <laughs> really much more severely than <laughs> I normally am. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, in what I have got since the last time I've been on, you know those wall organisation things where you have clips that stuff a clip onto and you have pots and hooks. Uh, and I haven't really worked since I've had it, but I, I, I've got um, things to put up on the wall. I tell you what, it's game changer while I'm working and I can just hook things on and off the wall in front of me and putting them in their pots. Um, yeah, it's well good. 
because normally I've got a million things on the desk, even though I am starting to <laughs> get there a bit. Right, so the next bit we want to do is that bit, don't we? Because we need to put another circle on. And, oh hang on, I wanted to stick that down, didn't I, just along there, so that... Because I want something coming in and out. No, I'll leave it for the minute and we'll do what we was going to do with this side. Right, so I've got that like that. I want something that will complement this paper here. Right, now, I've decided, instead of having something like to coordinate, I'm going to have the same, I think, if I've got enough, on all three outer bits, and I have got enough. So it looks like it's the exact right height, which is perfect <laughs> because it just saves saves me lots of time. So pencil. I'll ignore that I've got them dinks cut out because I'll dink these as well. Right. So about there, and this way, oh, hang on. I'll go from there, that'd be better. And it'll be about there. Right, hopefully I've measured correctly. <laughs> so this is the last of this that I've got, other than that tiny little off cut, and I think another little square which I'm not so let's hope that I've done that right otherwise we'll have to choose something completely different looks all right so far yeah I've just got to cut out the dinks so I should have done that before I cut I didn't know when I was gonna be having it but it don't matter, I think I could probably, yeah, line that up, line them up both to be in the centre. Yay! And do the same on this side. Oh, it was, oh, that bit was my nice Father Christmas that I fancied having on the outside. But no, I'll have it on that. They're going to be like that. Yeah, perfect. Right, so I'm going to need to ink around them. And then, yeah, I can get in there, can't I? Yeah, I'll get in there fine when I need to do the old and everything like that. Right, so I'm going to ink around them right now. Right, I'm sorry, I do apologise. The, um my um camera cut out and also i had to stop and make a drink <laughs> uh, so yeah i've inked around those edges and i'm just going to stick them on and i know i used glue stick just now but this grabs quicker and yeah i just thought it'll be easier to, oh, i thought it'd be easier to do it that way <laughs> <laughs> but yeah right let's get this in place and yeah this will definitely be a two part um well I, yeah i doubt it wouldn't be free it'd be, it'd be a two part because we'll probably do the insides tomorrow so that um yeah that this video ain't too long and let's get that up a little bit. Right. Well, I'm saying the insides. I mean the pages and that and other pockets of how I do them. But I'm liking that so far. And so now we want our other discs for here. So before I do anything, 
let's do it with a pencil so that I know that I'm doing it. I'm lining it up all right, so we're there. So we want to go there. Right. And poke a hole without stabbing myself. That's it. I'm trying to make it a little bit bigger. That's it. It just makes it easier for me to um, push the um, what's it called through the split pin. Oh, Brad, um, right. that one looks quite dark. Um, that's much darker than the other ones, right? Um, is that the only one I've got that dark? That'll be um, fun, won't it? I bet it is, right? Yeah, I think it probably is. All the others seem to be a lot lighter. Or oh, there's like that one. And I've stuck that right in there with everything. So I'm not going to be able to swap it out. I should have checked in the beginning, shouldn't I? Whether I had... <laughs> whether that was one... Add another one the same. It's just because I've got loads the same. And that. It seems to be the only one that I've got that's darker, which is odd, but it don't really matter. Um, right, old punch I need. And I might grab another bit to see if I can get red again. Um, Here we are. I do love this um, paper that's like stitching, like a Christmas jumper. I think it's lovely. Right, and we'll just do a quick ink around the outside. Right. Yeah. That's all done, and I want to make the hole. And yeah, if you're um, short on space, or like desk space particularly, like I went from having a big, long, like wrap around desk to what you're seeing <laughs> is what I've got, you know, pretty much. Um, so if you're short on desk space i really do recommend them wall things you get them at ikea and that but um yeah this is the first time i've worked since i've had it and um oh i know what i ain't done i ain't put a cancelled out thing in between which i've remembered you don't have to do that but it just makes it easier to when you're threddling your um, thingy bobby when you're threddling your what's it spray your thread oh, can i even get that out yes so yeah i really do recommend it because it's so handy having most of my stuff in front of me that um i haven't got to keep rummaging under the desk and here, there and everywhere when all my most used tools apart from the stuff that's really heavy like this i ain't got this hanging on there all my scissors are up there my knives um do you know why i ordered it on like i ordered it online right and i'll tell you why because um the bits and bobs that i've got under the desk that i keep stuff in and my cart that is next to me and when i'm not sitting here it rolls right under the desk to be nice and tidy now the um babies are walking well see levi he don't walk he runs he runs he's the fastest kid other than my tommy when he was a baby um and yeah he's so fast and 
he always was grabbing um, everything sharp and dangerous. Like, he ran out here, and then the next thing he was holding a ball of all things. Imagine a baby running around with this. How bad's that? You know? So, yeah, that was that was a thing that he done. And then um, scissors and that. And then Lola came round. Um, I'm struggling to find the end. There it is. Lola came round, and um, she grabbed scissors as well. And so I thought, I've got to do something. Um, but I needed something that I wouldn't have to put them all the way in because I've got storage behind me. Um, but things that you're using all the time when you're working, if you've got to put every single thing away and then get it out again each time, it, it's long, isn't it? And so I thought, how about on the wall storage in front of me? And yeah. I'm going to extend it. <laughs> I've got one bit and um, like for one block of it, I'm going to get another one to go next to it because it's brilliant. It really is. I can't recommend it enough. And I might not even need another one next to it, but it is really handy. So I probably will get another one right so there they are like that and then this will wrap around like that so that holds it nicely when it's shut right so now they're all done we can stick this down now because i left it open because i was in an iron um i kept having little bits of ideas about oh maybe i have to do this maybe i have to do that and i'm just going to stick it down and it's another really small pocket um, probably won't even use it because we've got like a, like you can see we've got no, two nice deep pockets there for our seats and that and um, so I do like to keep my receipts I um, I normally put pockets um, in the germ in them these are ones left over from last year but as you can see I've got pockets like that um, and yeah this one I always I never throw them away until I've made my next lot because um, like these was stuff I needed to buy like um, songs I wanted to put onto a list baking um, food and drink shopping list um, I want the front my cards that I write and that and so I like to transfer stuff out of the old ones I throw some of them away you know like I have one um, where I have my timetable my Christmas Eve timetable and my Christmas Day timetable I know it sounds obsessive but I am a bit OCD and um, I have them so I can tick off exactly what time things have got to go in, what time I've got to base stuff, what time I've got to take stuff out and, or get something out of the freezer. So I have timetables. Um, yeah, I'm a lunatic, I know. <laughs> but that's just the way I do it all. And it works for me. And the other thing that works for me is not throwing away the food and drink list. Um and stuff like that because I transfer it all into the new one and then I can tick off the items as I'm going along so as you can see I've grabbed back up these um, off cuts to see if there's any that might fit inside and they don't have to like cover all of this um, I do like that but it's not enough to even touch it so I think I have to look at I have a bigger piece like this oh that will easily cover all three bits won't it so I might as well use this it's pretty much the right depth so um yeah let's do that right so 
I don't want it coming out further than where we get into the pocket. So we'll grab a pencil and that is our first line and then roughly and let's see how far in I was. Right. Yeah. Now I know about there. And this one just a little bit there. Right, that's nice and simple. And oh yeah, that's the other thing I meant, yeah. If the camera angle has changed, I do apologise. Like I said, I made myself a coffee that I've finished now so I can get out of my way. And um, I also had to change the battery. Um, so yeah, the, the camera angle might have changed a little bit. So if it is, I apologise. But yeah, I um, I don't know what where the charger is. I normally I take the, the one that's um, run out and put it straight on charge. And um, I don't know where my charger is. I've obviously tied it up. Um, and I don't know what I've done with it because it's been ages <laughs> since I've done any work. So yeah, when I stop filming, <laughs> I'll have to um, go on a hunt for the charger. Right, so I'm just going to ink around these. Right, there we are, all nice and inked. And we can just stick them on. I might leave them open so that's a bit of a double pocket. Um, yeah, I think I will do that because we all end up with a ton of receipts, don't we? And so I think they'll stay flatter if they've got two places to slide into rather than just one on each bit. Right. Yeah, that one. And yeah, it um it'll just make it so we've got that one and that one nice and easy to get into. I should have made it maybe made a little thumb hole. I could do that after. I should have done it first, but I can't really see now how far in I'm going. Oh, yeah. Way too far. Right, so we only want to be about there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Right. Right, so now I know that I wanted to do that. So... Line them up. So I know where the centre is, which is roughly about there. And yeah, roughly about there. Right. Just makes it a little bit easier, don't it? Mm -mm. Like and this one. Where's the line? Oh, there it is. So yeah, I've got a wild hunt <laughs> lined up after this to find my charger that I have no clue where it will be because it's always in the same place. But yeah, I think um, where I've had so much on my mind, I've probably put it somewhere where I would never normally put it. Well, I know it's somewhere where I'd never normally put it because I always keep it in the same place. But yeah, I've clearly put it somewhere weird because when it wasn't where it always is, I checked some logical places and it ain't there. It ain't in them, so I have no clue what I've done with it. So that's going to be a fun afternoon for me. 
hunt in for the lost charger. But it can't be far, so hopefully it won't take me forever. Mm -hmm. I'm liking this. Like I said, I normally just have a bit of scrapbook paper folded and I'll sew in some pages. But I thought we'll have it nice and fancy um, for a change. It's still attached with the elastics through the middle like that. Um, but nice big pockets for the receipts and everything. And yeah, it is looking rather lovely, I think. So before we end for today because we've got our middle to do a different day I think I might just put some trim maybe just around the bottom or somewhere let's see right I've got this and I absolutely adore it it is just beautiful little gingerbread men look at that and I think I'm just going to have it um, I have them going across the bottom so like going across here and then right across that bit because I just think they are gorgeous. So, and then we'll be about done. And I've really enjoyed being back and creating something. It really does make you feel so much better, don't it? But when you're in a bit of a slump, emotionally or physically you don't think like that do you but um and i have had a busy time my son was 25 um this week so that was lovely he's my baby boy i've got a daughter younger than him but yeah they're the youngest two so yeah he's my um young boy and he's 20 was 25 so that was just nice um and then yeah later on in the week i can't believe i'm actually saying this but um i'm 50 later on in the week and i still feel like i'm not really a proper grown-up <laughs> and i'm sure it's not just me I'm sure you're the, you, most of you are the same. In your head, you don't feel like you're any older or wiser <laughs> than um, a long, long time ago. But there you go. Right, so I'm just trying to line this up. It'll be about there. Let me just make a small mark. as close to him as I can. I don't want to cut one of them right in half. I think I might have to though. Or I'm just trying to right, maybe just up, get a little bit off the edge. Let's see. No, I still need a bit more off. How are we doing? Yeah, that's about it. I know he does need a little bit more off. Unfortunately, he is going to be have to sort of cut him off. Right. And so, yeah, it's um funny to think about it, really. Normally, with every year, I don't really think about the age, but because it's quite a milestone, isn't it? It's half a blinking century. <laughs> that sounds so long and old. And you think, oh, really? When did that happen? It just seems like, yeah, to be no time at all. I think as well, because um, we lost me, aren't we? Um, we've been looking at old photos and stuff like that. And you like remember them things, like in them times, like no time has passed at all. Um, but yeah, oh, I need to kind of tad down. Let's see, that's better. 
Right, I really love that. I'm just going to show you as well what my daughter made for me. She made me this lovely scented candle and um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's, obviously it's got grace on it. Um, because, and it's been lit already because um, we was limited to how many people we could have at the funeral. You could only have 30 people. You have to social distance. We couldn't have a wake or nothing like that. And so, um, my eldest daughter, my Rosie, she um, made that candle. And while we was having the service um, up at the chapel, she was um, had the candle lit and was thinking of memories and things like that. So yeah, it was really lovely. Um, and then afterwards, she brought it round and gave it to me, so I could keep it next to photograph which was so thoughtful, it really, um, I just thought it was a lovely thing to do and um, yeah, I appreciate them so much as I do with you guys but yeah, I think I'm going to leave that there for today because um, we've got quite a bit done and then in our next one we'll make the insert and yeah, put pop a few pockets in and yeah, make it nice and um, a good organiser for Christmas even if you're going to just do one you know it is well worth doing because you know exactly where you are you know what you've bought what you need to buy and yeah I live my life by lists I know some people don't but um, yeah I find it um, so helpful especially having a timetable for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I've done that for donkey's years and it never fails. It's perfect. So anyway, all that being said, we haven't even had Halloween yet, but I've skipped working on Halloween bits for this year because I'm too behind now. So I'm just going to be doing the other bits um, and bobs that I haven't finished, the projects that I've got that are half done and then yeah hopefully get out a Christmas journal and a Christmas kit, fingers crossed if I can get it done in time, if not it will just be that I've got stuff saved well in advance for next year. <laughs> so yeah thank you very much for watching, thank you for your kindness and for your patience to wait around while I had to be away doing what I had to do, you know. It really does mean a lot to me and I'm so grateful. So yeah, thank you very much. I'll be back in a day or two with part two of our Christmas organiser. Thank you very much. Love you loads. Bye for now. Bye.